Pikmin. Welcome to my new LP of Pikmin. I'm Paladin, and in case you're new here, this is Pal Plays, a clean Let's Play channel where we stay above the gutter, and I challenge other LPers to do the same thing. But anyway, this is Pikmin. Now, a little bit of backstory. I grew up with the GameCube. That was my first console. My first handheld was the Game Boy Advance SP, but that's besides the point. Beside the point. So I grew up with Pikmin 2, actually, and a year or two later after I first got Pikmin 2 for my birthday, I got Pikmin 1. I was thinking that would be the same nice lax game. I mean, it's real-time strategy, but it's nothing too hard. But I was, I was surprised when I started playing Pikmin 1 as my 8-year-old self, or 9, however old I was then. I couldn't, I couldn't beat this. I got stumped on this for f maybe five years. I it was so hard, and I didn't beat it until a couple of years ago. Maybe when I was, eh, maybe yeah, two two three years ago. So anyway, I'm going to show it to you guys now that I can beat the game, and now I'm now that I'm good at video games. Let's go ahead and jump on in. This is my second LP. Now, Skyward Sword is still going, that is not cancelled, but this will be running alongside of it. So anyway, let's create some save files here. So it's been created. Now, this this is a GameCube this is a GameCube game, so the graphics are not gonna be fantastic. However, they're pretty good for GameCube standards, especially this early of GameCube game. You know, this is a very early GameCube game. Anyway, I'll shut up for the cutscene. That's not good. And the person we just saw is dead. Well, that was Pikmin. That was Pikmin 1, everybody. I hope you liked his. Oh, he's alive. Okay. Miraculously, he was alive. It looks like he was thrown cr clear, clear of the hull of the ship, or what's left of it. Anyway, he's going to talk. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of, the, of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone, and I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my, at at my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So, they just throw us right in the game. Now, first of, all, first of all, you will notice that the camera is really, really close to Captain Olimar. Look how close this is. You cannot see anything. Now, don't worry, the whole game will not be spent like this. And as you can also see, I am playing with the GameCube version because this is my first copy of the game. And, I don't know, what, I've seen people do LPs of this and it was the Wii version. I just want to show you guys what the original version was like. Now, to explain the buttons, um, A is apparently punch, as you can see here or headbutt, whatever it is he's doing. It looks like his head has more range than his hand, so anyway. And he looks like he's also karate chopping. X blows a whistle, which we don't know what that does yet. Y opens up a menu, which has some stuff that is kind of spoilers, but it won't be spoilers for long. It also has c the controls, which are very helpful. Um, also, you can kind of see this whole thing as spoilers, so I'll actually close this for now until we discover whatever it is 
Oh, there it is. We'll approach this strange plant, and it will uproot in front of us and send out a single seed. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. And the camera zooms out and we get some controls. Now R changes the camera. There are three tiers, as it were, of of camera zoom. That is close up, which is what we started out with. And then a little bit further out, and then really far out. So there's that. Also, you can press L to center the camera behind you, which is very useful. You can also... Oh, I guess you can't. You can rapidly tap it to constantly center it behind you, which I find very useful. I believe in Pikmin 2, you can actually, uh, you can actually hold it down, and it will do the same thing. So anyway, we'll see a Pikmin. Oop, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Sorry. I need, I need to get used to this whole spoilers thing. The seed that the onion, onion dropped took root in the soil and, and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sp this sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help to but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. So apparently Olimar controls his body. Maybe Olimar... Okay, wait. Let me zoom in. Maybe Olimar is not actually a being in a suit. Maybe he is a a being inside the Olimar body that's inside of a suit. Sort of like in uh, Men in Black. He's like a little cat creature demon spawn thing in, in the head that has a remote control that's controlling the body. Maybe that's it. And maybe we're controlling that little thing who's controlling Olimar. Who's going to pluck this Pikmin? And we'll see a strange creature, which I spoiled before, but... Hey, this game is called Pikmin, so, you know, it's it's already spoilers. E Extraordinary! Most excellent! When I plucked the spr this sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring back at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I am intrigued. I must research this, sa this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, then I will call it back to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls seem to allow me, to, to allow me several viewpoints. Um, R rotates camera. Oh, so you can't hold it to follow the cursor. Okay. Z R zooms in and out, as I said. Oh, and I didn't go over Z. Z changes the angle. I'll show you show you that in a second. I must survive. I need to familiarize with myself with these controls and my surroundings. So, we'll zoom out, and then if you press Z, you'll get an overhead StarCraft view, which I don't use too much because it doesn't really get you much perspective. I like this, um, I like this helicopter view thing so okay it's not holding R uh, holding L does not continue to center it around the cursor so I'm not sure if that's a glitch uh, anyway okay so we see this th thing we also get a cutscene that I don't even remember what does this Pikmin think of me I must observe its reactions the more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab and throw it with... Oh, okay. So he just says the same thing for we stay too long. So let's go ahead and throw it. It'll take me a while to familiarize myself with the controls. So C, C stick does not control the camera. Like the individual, you know, the angles. So let's see what C stick does with the Pikmin once we have enough. Astonishing! The onion has grown, has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin has harvested after cutting down a flower seems to be some kind of food 
that can propagate more Pikmin. An onion seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this, this strange life form more. Now, once we get enough Pikmin, I'll see what the sea stick does, because it doesn't seem to do anything right now. So we'll go ahead and pluck those Pikmin. We, you have to keep tapping A for Olimar to go from sprout to sprout. Also, it zoomed in when I plucked the Pikmin, which is strange. Okay, so there, this one has five on it. We'll zoom in a little bit. And so it looks like the five um, indicates how many Pikmin can carry it. So this one has one, so one can carry it. Now, I should explain these things instead of acting as if this is my first time playing through the game. Okay, um, pick more Pikmin than, nece than is necessary can carry a pellet watch. See, two Pikmin can carry it now. And instead of acting all mysterious and saying, I wonder what the C-stick does. Okay, it will direct Pikmin. Like so. I'm pointing it down and he'll move down. I point it to the left, he'll go left. So, if we do that next to this pellet posy, they will automatically start to attack it. So, the, you can use this to swarm objects or enemies, which we haven't seen yet, but they do exist. Now, I I never really liked the um, the zoomed in, the uh, all the way zoomed out camera angle, because when I was younger, I had, an old, I had a CRT, which was smaller, so doing this was actually really far away and you could barely see anything. So I may find myself just doing this most of the time. They'll try to keep it uh, the furthest point away. This is really weird. Um, so that you guys can see everything. Now, I'm going to be messing up a little bit. Now, while I have grown up with Pikmin, lately I've been playing Pikmin, t uh, Pikmin 3, which basically the C-Stick does the camera in that game. So I might be doing the C-Stick to do the camera. Also, I may be using R to uh, try and whistle, because that's sort of what it is in Pikmin 3. So, excuse me if I make a couple mistakes. So, anyway, now that we have five five red leaf Pikmin, we can throw five of them on this pellet. Now, I already demonstrated that more than, uh, more than what is needed can carry the pellet, and that will allow it to go faster. But, um, also, I haven't explained yet the numbers on the bottom of the screen. You probably are wondering what those are. Unless you are sm are smart and have figured it out already. If you haven't figured it out, don't worry, you're not dumb. You just haven't played the game before. Anyway, so the far left number, the one that currently says 4 and now says 9, that is how many Pikmin we have with us. So if we throw one, it'll go down. Now, the middle number of the 3 is how many Pikmin total we have on the field or in the area basically out of the onion. Now, the number on the right, the far right, also, I'll explain something in a second. On the far right is how many are, they? that is the number of Pikmin total in existence, or how many Pikmin we have total in existence. So, get up. Sheesh, get up. Okay, you guys are really trying my patience for calling you what red Pikmin are called. One one more fall within this episode, and I'm calling you what you are. Okay. Don't tempt me. Okay, anyway. So, the reason why I kept plucking those Pikmin and not plucking any more is because you have to tap the A button to continuously pluck Pikmin. Now, I'm used to Pikmin 3 where if you just tap A once, it'll, pick all, it'll uh, automatically pick all of the Pikmin for you. So, that's another mistake I'll be making. Now, I accidentally did this because I was trying to change the camera angle with the C-Stick, and I accidentally pushed that box. It says 10 on it, so you need 10 Pikmin to push the box into place, allowing you to get more pellets. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form, they form groups and perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all of I've, all I have learned in of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick up sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Press uh, release it to throw them. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. I haven't shown that yet. 
Use C to command and control the group. L, R, and Z control perspective. I shall record all of this in my computer. I can press Y to, to access the computer, which is what we did before we even got the onion. Also, I just tried to whistle with R, and I also tried to change the camera with C. So you can tell I'm going to be making many mistakes. Also, if my voice sounds a little bit raspy and tired, it's because uh, my allergies kind of have given me a sore throat. So it's not too bad, just a little bit scratchy. So if I sound weird, then that's why. So anyway, this moving piece is not an enemy, even though it kind of looks like an enemy. It is a treasure, or not a treasure, it's a ship part, which is what he'll say here. Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of purest luck, I have already stumbled ac upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? So, let's try throwing a Pikmin. Okay, it... We have one of 20. Oh, I didn't explain that either. The top number is how many Pikmin you need to carry it. The bottom number is how many Pikmin are trying to carry it. So obviously, by looking at the bottom left number on the screen, we see that we only have 14 Pikmin. So we need to get some more before we can carry the part. So there are some pellet posies up here. So let's go ahead and throw Pikmin onto them. One, two, three, four, five... And one. Any more? I don't think so. I'll try to keep the camera zoomed out. You can see there's some stuff over there, but we can't go there yet. I don't know, there's probably some glitch that allows us to go over there, but I don't know of one, and I'm not abusing glitches, so let's not do that. Also, another reason why I'm using the GameCube version, other than the fact that I don't want to buy the Wii version, is... The Wii version has a, gl a lot of glitches, which is very surprising why they let this as many glitches as are in the game in the game. They, there are glitches such as um, Pikmin can fall through the ground and die. They'll basically fall in like a bottomless pit and die. Also, sometimes you can um, the numbers on the bottom of the screen will glitch out and it will say you have more Pikmin on the field than you actually do. So, because I'm going to try to keep deaths down as much as possible, I'm not going to uh, do that. I'm not going to use the Wii version. Oh. When many Pikmin sp seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll have to. I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give us off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. So, what I was saying... Oh yeah, yeah, glitches. So, I, I want to keep deaths down as much as possible. And I don't want to be having glitch deaths, so I won't be using that version. So we have enough Pikmin. You can only you can grow a maximum of 25 Pikmin on the first day. That is all you can grow. And also, um, this Pikmin days have a time limit, but that is not a factor on the first day. You have an unlimited amount of time to do everything, which is just the game designers giving you a. They're just being kind so that, you know, you don't end up messing up. Also, why did you pick that up? I didn't even tell you to do that. I didn't touch the C-Stick at all. Anyway, let's swarm this and have as many Pikmin as we can carry it. It'll go faster that way. Also, that, could, that doesn't really look like the rim of this. It looks almost some, like something the N64 could render. However, uh... This is GameCube game, so my guess is that they made this very early on in the design. Like, look at that, it's straight up polygon. Whereas this, these leaves, actually look quite good. This game is a very good looking game for, for early Wii, as I said er, earlier before. 
So anyway, you want to save this for the last until you've gotten all your pick, all the Pikmin that you can, because once you bring this back, you won't be able to get any more Pikmin today. You'll see why. And there we go. Magically, after we get the ship part, it'll spruce up the ship a little bit more, which is really neat. And Olimar will do a little dance and do his up tilt from Brawl. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. A.K.A. Next Episode. If you enjoyed this episode, click like. And if you want to see more, then just keep watching, because, like I said, this is not conflicting Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is by no means cancelled. And Skyward Sword comes out um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. This will come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, wait, no, Saturdays. Yeah, Mondays, Mondays Wednesdays, and Fridays. There we go. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll put it on screen in case I got, wrong, got it wrong. So, I'm happy to announce that I am going to be having a new video game episode every single day except Sunday. Okay, anyway. Um, this is a journal entry. Let me explain this. At the end of each day, Olimar will write in his journal. Sometimes it'll have tips. Sometimes it'll have kind of a recap of the day. So it's, it's pretty cool, and it helps me do outros. Okay, anyway, so let me read it. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Per perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 ship parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on pra planet Hokitate. Analysis indicates life, life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I will explore it tomorrow. See you guys then. Our, pic our Pikmin population has risen to 25. We have 29 parts. I mean, so we have 29 parts remaining. And we have 29 days remaining. See you guys then.